One, two, here we go. <laughs> going to make a square. Create a triangle and fold over the remaining piece, do it front and back, and then use, use your scissors to cut it off. You aren't going to need this extra piece. Then you're going to fold it in half again so that you have four triangles and a center point. Take either a circle or a square. If you're going to take a square, line it up, line up the corners on the lines and trace it. Now alternate between circles and squares. So I used a square, now I'm going to use a circle, and I'm going to trace the circle. And then you just keep going back and forth, alternating circles and squares, and placing them inside of each other. Take her clothes, I'll show me all of her toys. There ain't no use in none of y'all. Now gather three or four natural objects. They can be anything as long as they're small enough to fit on the page. I chose a shell, a leaf, another shell, a rock, and another shell. But you could use rocks, you could use flowers, you could use anything. If you don't have access to natural objects, you could use small objects that you find around the house. You're going to trace them going from the center out. If you do something in one triangle, you do it in the next triangle and you go all the way around and do it four times. You can do it more than four if you'd like, but you definitely have to do it at least four. So I'm going to take this leaf and I'm going to put it right here on the line, on the fold line, and I'm going to put it on the other three fold lines. Once you're done tracing the last object, take a look at your work. It doesn't have to be perfect. When you add color, it's going to completely transform. You've done a great job.